Hello and welcome to a quick look at Dynamics 365 for Operations. My name is Jeremy Sentner and I'm a pre-sales architect for Sickage, a large professional services firm based outside of Chicago, Illinois. In this edition of Quick Look, we will be covering navigation of Dynamics 365 for Operations, also known in the community as D365. For new users, navigating a large enterprise solution can seem daunting and create some challenges. Some typical challenges organizations encounter are around efficient navigation, quick access to data, and too many mouse clicks. These challenges can result in frustration and issues around user adoption of the new solution. After watching this short video, you will see how easy it is to navigate D365. Today I'll be covering workspaces, the navigation pane, including favorites, recent places, the module listing, as well as keyword search. In Dynamics 365 for Operations, the role centers from previous versions of AX have gone away and been replaced with workspaces. Workspaces are a key concept in Dynamics 365 because they are an ideal starting point for all users. This handy new tool will provide users with a work center that includes activities, tasks, and data specific to their role within the organization. On the screen here, you will see just a small sampling of what workspaces are available. Within these workspaces, you will find different formats of information and data. On the left side, you will find windows-like tiles holding filtered sets of data and other pertinent information. In the middle column, you will find actual lists of filtered data relating to that specific workspace. As you scroll to the right-hand side, you will see a place for Power BI tiles and helpful links. It is also important to remember that these workspaces can be configured and personalized to move, change, hide, and even insert additional information and data. If you don't find a workspace that's for you, you can always create new ones without the use of code or a developer. I will save that topic for another day in another video. The navigation, or nav pane, is another method of moving about the system. The nav pane will look very familiar to users coming from previous versions of Dynamics AX. When you click into a module, you will see all the tables and forms related to that particular module. The modules are then broken down into more granular areas, such as setup, reports and inquiries, as well as more common areas like customers, sales orders, and invoices. In addition to housing all the modules, the nav pane has several other key features to highlight, starting with favorites. This feature will look and feel similar to the favorites functionality found in Internet Explorer and Microsoft Edge. A user can simply navigate to a menu option and mark it as a favorite. This option will then be stored within that section of the navigation pane for as long as a user would like. Microsoft has also improved the navigation pane in newer versions with a new feature called Recent, which tracks the last 10 places a user has navigated. The final way to navigate the system is the new and improved key search functionality. This feature is great for new users because it's so simple. You just type what you're looking for and let D365 do all the work for you. This search function will start to pull and filter data as you type and will get you anywhere in the system you need to go along with the reference path of how to get there. Knowing how to navigate the system can create efficiencies in tasks and make users more productive. When using D365, you will most likely use a combination of workspaces, navigation pane, and key search functionality. In closing, I would like to provide a bit of information about my employer, Sikich. Sikich occupies several segments of professional services, including technology, advisory, accounting, business process, and investment banking. We've been in business for over 30 years and currently have over 800 employees. Sikich has also been recognized as a great place to work, a top regional accounting firm, and a top technology solution provider. Thanks so much for joining the webcast, and please feel free to email me with any questions you may have. Thank you. Have a great day.